Bottle of my truck out there. Mine's the, the silver uh, GMC, if anybody missed it there with the XFT lettering all over it. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't see it? No. no. <laughs> I know that when I get done using this bottle, okay, this, this treats 320 gallons, I put about $200 back in my pocket. Okay? And that's after I've already paid for the bottle. $200 goes back in my pocket. So every time I empty one of these, I go, hmm. I put them up on my shelf in the garage and say, there's 200 bucks. We have the Nobel Prize winning chemistry. The guys who developed this developed the, the, that special compound for NASA. Okay, that's, that's where this background comes from. We are an EcoVisionary Award winner two times. Okay, and so we are an eco product. That, that award is only given to products that are eco friendly. We've won it twice, two years. And it works in any carbon based fuel. That's everything from heavy fuel oil, diesel, gasoline, kerosene, home heating fuel, everything all up, up in between. Pretty much anything you can think of. If you can get in the tank, this stuff will help. And the best part, a quarter of an ounce treats 20 gallons. That's this little bit here on the side. Actually, that's even a half ounce. A quarter, that's, that's a, almost a half an ounce. So a little bit less than that. A little bit, uh, half of this treats 20 <coughs> gallons of fuel. And this is why we do this, okay? Get a little ahead of myself, but this is why we call, this is why we use network marketing to sell this product or talk about this product. First of all, because nobody would believe us. So the product deserves a story. You know, it deserves somebody, it deserves somebody telling you a little bit about it. So actually, at this point, I'd like to bring a couple people up. If whoever wants to, it's completely voluntary. Whoever wants to come up, just give me a quick, maybe 30 second testimonial on how it's worked in your vehicle if you've been using the product. Anybody want to come up? You? Come on up. Give me a chance to get a drink of water, too. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jan Stokes, and uh, I've talked to a few of you about what I, how I got my score. <laughs> And uh, my first introduction to XFT, I said, wow, you know, this stuff's going to help me get better gas mileage. It's going to help me save a dollar or two. I was hurting for dollars. And uh, I had a 92 Eagle Summit. I don't know if any of you know what that is. But I had let my daughter use it to go to college. When I handed it to her, it was uh, in good shape. When she gave it back, it was sort of not in the same shape. It had a lot of different shapes to it, <laughs> but uh, at any rate, I had previously lost a car, totaled a car, had an accident with an Audi that I had, so I had to use this thing. And this car, there was a little bit of time between the time my daughter had given it back to me and when I was ready to use it, it had been in storage. I literally pulled it out of storage and after it had been in storage for five years, and had good tires on it, I put XFT in it, and got it started. I did very little to the car. It was getting about 26 miles a gallon. That's, that's okay. I had to commute back and forth to Burlington. Didn't have much money. Started using the XFT and it went from 26 miles a gallon to 32 miles a gallon. Wow. That's a big difference. I put bread on the table, butter, milk, <laughs> eggs. I was happy. <laughs> I was convinced. And that was the beginning of my story. Thank you. Anybody else? Somebody's got to have a testimony. Come on. Give me a chance. <laughs> my name is Sean Collins, and uh, actually, my story started from owning a, a 2007 Chevrolet Avalanche. And that was uh, at the time when ethanol, pre ethanol, about six months later, um, I noticed my gas mileage had dropped drastically because of the ethanol. Going for uh, a 21 mile per gallon uh, truck down to probably 16 to 18 on the highway. And I drove that truck till it was like 84,000 miles. Traded in, I said, I'm gonna get something more economical. I bought a 2008. Subaru Outback Wagon. Thought I was going to do really well with it. 
my first year I drove that, it was um, roughly about 16 to 18 city. And I could never get over 22 miles to the gallon with it on the highway. So uh, one of my coworkers, uh, Steve Francis, which I don't know if some of you know him, uh, had signed me up with the um, XFT so that I could use that as a trial. Four tanks <coughs> later, I could start seeing improvement. Plus, I was traveling uh, between Burlington and Albany almost every single week. Um, with that, I could see that my gas mileage rose on the highway from 22 to like 24, 26, 30, 32. And I'm going to just tell you the one experience, and I've got it somewhere in a picture, 42 miles to the gallon for an hour. That was like unbelievable because my brother kept telling me it's an all-wheel drive, you're never going to get more than what your, your window sticker is saying. And the window sticker says 18 city and 22 highway. So I'm consistently now getting uh, roughly 28 to 30 and on occasion depending on how the, the roads are uh, I might get 32. So I'm pleased to just have that experience for you guys to follow suit. Thank you. One more. Ben, you want to bring yours up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's my father, by the way. Can I tell three stories? You can tell as many as you want. Just don't make it quick, though. Take all time Well, uh, the first story is uh, last summer I went to Alaska and uh, I was pulling uh, a 10,000 pound fifth wheel uh, Ford diesel truck. And when I got to uh, the Alaskan Highway, I had the privilege of paying $8 a gallon for diesel. And it wasn't ultra low diesel. That's the ultra low sulfur diesel that drinks is required. And uh, uh, the, my poor garage had warned me if I run that stuff too much, you know, it's clog up my, uh, my uh, injectors and all other good stuff. Well, I kept running the XFT through it. And we climbed the Rockies uh, twice going over, twice coming back. U.S. Rockies, the Canadian Rockies, and through Alaska and back. We had no problems at all. It took range great. We got back here. It, it was just, uh, it, it was like a walk in the park. It was a great trip. While the while we were doing that trip, I had a boat sitting at a marina over here uh, on, on dry ground. It had been sitting for two years. We didn't put anything in it except gas and XFT. I dumped it in the water this May and turned the keys and both those engines started right up. I was very impressed. My third story, I brought evidence. Uh, I uh, have a German car that uh, says premium fuel only, and it's supposed to get uh, 24 to 29 miles to the gallon. And we went for our first road trip with it in September, and uh, it was pretty hot. We, were, we drove from here to Nashville, Tennessee. And our first day here, I, it was, I was so impressed, I actually took a picture of it. Uh, after uh, 222 miles, we got 31.8 miles per gallon. And as you can see, still pretty hot out, 88 degrees. So we were running the air conditioner full, uh, full blast. And we had actually sat in traffic in a couple places. So the, uh, the mileage actually got up to 32.4. I didn't get a picture of that. Uh, so I, I did leave that. I got, when I got to the gas pump, I, I, I put the gas in, I checked it, and sure enough, it was 31.8. So the next day, I said, well, let's just see if that was a fluke. We'll do it again. The next day, we got exactly 31.8 again. That was a little cooler day, 82 degrees. But uh, as you can see, we were going 63 miles an hour. That's the average. Again, sitting in traffic in different places, Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, other places. But anyway, I'll leave that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> You see where I get my loud pedal from, right? <laughs> Average 63 miles an hour sitting in traffic. Yeah. <laughs> Put that German car to use. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's definitely a great product, right? You're not just listening to me. You're hearing it from your own friends and family here in the room. Well, my family, but whatever. <laughs> so, we'll keep continuing on with this because we don't have much time. I want to get uh, Chris up here in a few minutes. The second line on here, word of mouth advertising is the most effective form of advertising in the world. How many people here use Facebook? Quite a few of us, right? When you advertise something on Facebook, 
I say advertise because that's what a post really is, right? When you say, hey, I'm going to go to this restaurant, what do you do? Take a picture of your restaurant, take a picture of your meal, right? We had this great T-bone steak at such and such a restaurant. You're advertising for them, right? What about when you go see the movie? You check in at the movie. Hey, I'm going to go watch Fast and Furious 7. As soon as you get out of the movie, Fast and Furious 7, greatest movie ever, right? That's what you're, you're advertising for them. Well, is Hollywood Pictures or that restaurant paying you to advertise for them? No. Syntech will. Syntech pays me. Every time I put an ad up on Facebook, an ad, a post up on Facebook, when he put that post up, he actually posted that on Facebook. That's where I got the picture, too. I was surprised. My dad doesn't use Facebook that much. Either. <laughs> but he posted it up on Facebook, and I was like, whoa, this is pretty amazing. And I got more comments on his picture than I get on mine. <laughs> But that's what this is. Word of mouth advertising is the most effective. If you use a product or a service, then somebody else will most likely use that same product or service because you said it was okay to use it. Right? When you get a, you need electrical work done at your house, you don't go, who uses the phone book anymore, right? You either post on Facebook, you call your friends, and you say, hey, what electrician did you use? And they tell you who they use. And who do you use? You use that same person. Make sense? There's more financially free people in this industry than in any other industry in the world. I say that with caution because what most people think, oh, you got to be a millionaire to be financially free. I am financially free. I do not have a regular job that I go to every week. But I am not a millionaire. But I don't have to go to a job every, every day. I can, I'm in business for myself. I make my own money. I'm my own boss. BYOB, right? Make sense so far? And you don't trade your time for money in this business. Okay? Let's face it. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to point out fingers, but there's some older people in the room, myself included. And what's the one thing you cannot buy? Time. You cannot buy time. And if you have a job where you make a certain amount of money, you're trading your time for money, right? What's the only way you can make more money? Work more, work more hours. And who wants to do that? So with this business, I make a sale today. Next month, that customer buys from me again. And next month, he buys from me again. And next month, he buys from me again. And tomorrow, I'm going to go make another sale. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to keep buying from me over and over. It's a residual income. And going back to the time as being your most <laughs> valuable asset, if you still work for a boss or you still have a boss, then your boss is capitalizing on your most valuable asset. Right? <laughs> I'm glad I got some chuckles out of that. Not some... <laughs> you swear it up there on the <laughs> So anyways, I want to uh, bring up a good friend of mine. We'll leave this right up here, okay? And uh, this guy, I met this guy, his name is Chris. I met him about two years ago in Utah. And... He was larger than life, okay? He went up on stage, he talked, and when he got done, there's like 30 people all crowded around him, all wanted to talk to him. And I just wanted to say, hey, thank you very much. So I walked up to him, like I said, this guy was larger than life, an ex-Marine, and he's like, I felt like I was reaching up here to tap on his shoulder, and it felt like I was doing this. I felt like a rock. And I was like, uh, excuse me, I just want to uh, shake your hand and just say thank you very much. You're a huge inspiration to this team here in Vermont. We really love to have you here. You know, this is, this is a great honor to be you know, working as part of your team. And he turned around, he had 30 people in front of me. He turned around to me and he shook my hand. He said, thank you very much for saying that. I really appreciate that. And that's the kind of genuine guy this is. I respect him a lot. I've looked up to him since I've been in this business. And he's going to come up here and teach you a little bit about um, how you can get paid with this business. So he's going to teach you a little bit more about the opportunity side of things. But please welcome Mr. Chris Bailey, Team Elite. New guy. My name is Chris Bailey. I'd like to welcome everybody out here to our, well, to our Super Saturday, and I'm saying ours now because now I'm part of the Vermont team, and I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, but before I get started, I just want to turn it back over to John and say, man, John is an awesome guy, all right? 
And it's so funny because I thought he was about to tell his story about how we worked out at the gym one time. 